YouTube channel as well. And then also, finally, welcome to the people on Facebook. I'm finally actually rocking with Facebook for once. So I'm going to try to start streaming on all three platforms at the same time when it makes sense, obviously, because from where I get paid to be you people have a particular niche that they following over there, right? So if I'm talking clean the business stuff, then I won't be streaming over there. And also going forward, a lot of times if I'm talking uh, to get paid to be you stuff, the personal branding, then that's going to be on the get paid to be you channel. All right. So make sure y'all subscribe where you want to be subscribed at so you can get the content that you want to get. All right. So I'm going to let a few people join me here. And then uh, once you get joined in, we're going to roll. All right. So today what I'm going to talk about is basically follow my blueprint for success, y'all, because success always leaves clues, right? And I would like to say I'm relatively successful. You know what I mean? I'm definitely left some clues along the way. So I want to break them down in this video and just talk about it, all right? But before we get into all of that, y'all know what we got to do. Let's do it. Headed to the top, saying none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids on property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard, though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred, though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh, don't flash it. Oh, I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. All right, all right. So I'm back, y'all. Let's get it going. So today, as I said, we talk about follow my blueprint for success, all right? And if y'all got comments, definitely drop them down below. I'm watching the comments as they come in. And it's this, man. If you ever seen, I, I put out a video before on this, but I want to break it down again. Like, what did I do in particular to really get to the point where I am today? And if you look at it, obviously, yeah, I started young. Everybody can't start young because if you're listening to this right now, maybe you're 50 years old. You can't go back and rewind the time till you was 19 just because I started my company in 19, right? But it, you don't have to do that, okay? So it ain't the fact that I started so young that that set me apart, right? So it's like, okay, well, what else did I do? It's not that um, I started a cleaning company in particular. That definitely helped. But it didn't have to be a cleaning company. It could have been a different type of company, right? So it was like, well, what exactly was it that I did? Well, I'm going to tell you, number one, what I did was I just made sure that I, that I didn't quit. That's first off. I saw so I, I picked a business and I went relentlessly after it. I changed my habits. I got from around people who weren't living the way that I needed to live in order to get to the dreams and success that I was trying to get to. And that was one of the biggest things. But most importantly, the actual like cause let's talk about tangible things here. Y'all know about the mindset stuff. But, but the tangible thing that I did in particular was I simply started a business. I documented my journey online, mainly YouTube, and then I helped other people get started in that industry. That's it. So I built a successful company. I built a six-figure cleaning company as I was building. Not, not, I didn't wait until I built it. I did this as I was building, as I won't show if I knew what I was doing or not. As I was building it, I just got on YouTube and started documenting my journey, dropping hints, dropping clues. Uh, helping people out when people ask me questions say aj well how do you get the llc and i'll tell you how to get the llc well aj where you get your cleaning supplies from and i tell you how to get clean supplies well how do you hire employees i tell you how to hire employees right and this is all stuff i just did over time simply document my journey on the way to the buildings i whipped that phone out and i just record myself hey this is what i learned today right even when i bought my rental property my first rental property i documented that recorded that i got a video on youtube about that Anything I learned as I was growing and learning in the business, I would just drop videos and drop content about it. You know what I mean? And over time, guess what happens? Every single time I tell, I share what I know, somebody asks a question. As they ask a question, guess what I do? I answer to the best of my knowledge. Now, guess what happens? Even though I'm not the guru, I mean, over time, some people like to say that I'm, I'm a guru now, right? But I didn't I, like. I wasn't a guru when I first started uploading videos to YouTube. I was just simply sharing what I do know, because guess what? With me getting started, I knew more than the person that didn't start yet. Right. Simply because I had the experience that those people didn't have. Right. So here's what I'm here to tell you today, because I did an interview with my guy, Brandon Lee. That, that video is about to drop tomorrow. I'm actually uploading it right now. So if you hear a little humming noise in the background, that's what it is. You might not hear it, though. This uh, The video is uploading. But anyway, and when I was interviewing him, this guy, he started his business last year. He was 21 years old. Uh, now he's 22. And in that video, I asked him what his long-term goal was. 
He said his long-term goal was, and y'all see it tomorrow when he said it, he says long-term goal was to simply build his cleaning company up uh, big enough, and he want to eventually start getting on YouTube and helping people and create a lead generation, basically just follow my, my footsteps and do, do what I did. And here's what, I'm tell you, here's what I'm here to tell you today. That's exactly what you should do too, all right? Like you literally should just do what I did, and it ain't got to be a cleaning company. It could be a lawn care company. It could be a, a plumbing service. It could be a window cleaning business. It could be a carpet cleaning business. It could be, you name it, a barbershop. Whatever the thing that you do, you can be a hairstylist. Whatever you do, do that. Learn how to be, create systems out of your business so you're not working in the business. You can actually work on the business, right? And then as you're building the business, what should you be doing every day? Whipping out that guy that on phone. I don't know why I'm holding back. I've been cussing around y'all. But anyway, whip out that damn phone, record it, and tell what you learned today. Or tell about your experience today. Sometimes you just want to rant. And I, didn't, I got rant videos, right? Sometimes it ain't always teaching. Sometimes you're just sharing with your knowledge, sharing what you know, sharing what you don't know. Sharing, oh, shit, I'm about to do this new bid. I ain't sure what I'm going to bid, but I'm about to go in here and I'm going to smile my way through. I'm going to dress up and I'm going to see what happens, right? But just get up here and share your experience. Over time, guess what? Just what happens, a few people around the world are going to learn how to resonate with you, and then they're going to want to learn from you, and they're going to want to gravitate towards you, follow your journey, and that's how you get it going. Then once you have those people who are following you, then guess what happens now? You as an entrepreneur are creative, and you can learn how to, okay, well, you know what? How can I help you, actually? Damn, maybe I should put a course together to help you with it, because me sitting here trying to talk to you, every single person one-on-one-on-one, -on -one -on -one, Ain't gonna work. Why not just record myself talking about all this shit at one time, package it up, put it in the course, and then sell it to everybody and that'll help everybody out. Then we'll put a Facebook group with it so that way we can discuss it afterwards, right? That's one thing you could do. Or maybe you can create a done for you service like my lead generation service or, or, or like a mobile app, like I created a mobile app and help people that way, right? But the point is to sh like start documenting and putting yourself out there now. All right, let me read some questions real quick or comments. Shout out to Jose checking in. It's awesome. Live. Appreciate you. You got to join me. Uh, Myra McCoy, shout out to you. Say what's up, fam. Shout out to Martell Cuffey, CBN longtime member, uh, repping 757 as well, which is where I'm from. All right. Jose says, can you describe the differences and importance of operation, service, and marketing of a cleaning business or general? That's a very broad question. Okay. So the, the differences and importance of operation, service, and marketing in your way. All right. Look, so let's do this operation that's basically your system right but how is your company going to operate and if you don't know how to create a system out of your business and all you simply need to do is make a list of every single thing that you you have to get done in your business so let's just use a cleaning business for example because that's what we do right so bam what has to get done the cleaning itself okay so that's a task inspections that's another task sales that's another task uh bidding and and, and submitting the actual proposal that's a task bookkeeping that's a task payroll that's another task right write down all the different tasks bam now you write down okay well now what are the positions that i need who's going to do it so then you write that down beside it now you got job descriptions right so what else we got service that's simply the, the cleaning part right so how are you going to ensure that not only you provide the service but that it's quality service and that you got plan a b and c in case somebody call out all right and then finally the marketing marketing speak for itself right you're going to just put yourself out there. You can do Facebook ads. You can do Google ads. You can do uh, YouTube ads. You can actually buy commercials on the radio. You can do banners. You can do uh, fucking, uh, what's some things on the side of the road, the big old ads on the, you know I mean, billboards, all of that, right? So, I mean, it's no wrong way to market, really. But hope that, hopefully that answered that question for you. All right. Field Athlete said, AJ, would you suggest going out and searching for contracts and marketing and using the lead generation service if I have no equipment? Then when I get my first contract, get supplies. Absolutely. Do it however you got to get it done. Now, is that the way I recommend that you do it? I mean, it ain't the best well put together way, but damn it, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And I think sometimes if you see the contract, like if you see that you right there, you finally about to get some money coming in, that'll motivate you to go ahead and put yourself out. Like, All right, bet. Now I can go ahead and put this $500 up and get this backpack vacuum and some other supplies to go with it, right? Or $800, however much it costs you. You got to shop around, find the best deal, right? But see, now all of a sudden, 
now you'll be ready to put the money up for the supplies. So yeah, I think that'd be a, a decent way to get started for sure. As a matter of fact, my earlier videos, I used to suggest to do it in that order. It wasn't until recently when I got all put together when I started changing. I was like, all right, go and get your supplies out of the way. Because too, when you got your, your actual equipment and you know what you got, it's, it's kind of easy to sell too because now you know, okay, I got this backpack vacuum so we can get, I mean, when you were doing your walkthrough at the, at the company, you know you can hit those stairs right there. You know you can hit that showroom floor faster than anybody else because you got a backpack and not a push bro, right? But see, if you don't know you got that stuff, then you don't really know exactly what you can do. But nonetheless, definitely you can do it that way. Shout out Charles Clark, CBN legend checking in. He said, what up, go, I appreciate you. Uh, John Cornish, matter of fact, let me, let me go ahead and let y'all see these things as I'm reading them. All right, John Cornish says, what's up? Uh, from Columbia, South Carolina. Shout out, long time subscriber, John Cornish checking in. Shout out to Mr. Willard Cleaning Service, excuse me, Willard Professional Services out of Virginia Beach checking in. I remember him, he came in, surprised me at the office that day <laughs> when I still had the office over there in Boston downtown. So shout out to him, CBN member as well. All right. And so here again, I mean, just to, to reiterate the point of this uh, of this video, man, follow the blueprint, dog. Like whatever, I know a lot of people listen to my channel, you're not even in the cleaning industry. And that's fine. That's great because I'm glad you find value in this. But the same thing I did, you can do. All right. Start documenting yourself. Again, I didn't win the Franchise Owner of the Year award because I had the highest grossing cleaning company in Jam Pro. I won that award for two main reasons. Number one, I had a YouTube channel that had a huge influence on the industry and it was helping Jam Pro make sales because I used to wear their shirts in my videos. Once I realized that, I stopped because I didn't want people just buying them because I was with them. I wanted them to make sure they invested because they wanted to be there, right? But that was one reason I wanted. The other reason I wanted because I wrote an ebook on cleaning franchises, okay? That was another reason. And then the third reason, which I didn't think was the biggest deal, was how fast I did build my cleaning company. It was just under six figures when I won the award by the time, uh, actually, excuse me, when I was nominated for the award. By the time I won it, I was at six figures a year. But I, the, the revenue wasn't the reason I won that award because it was plenty of people doing way more than I was in gross revenue, right? So be clear. Having a personal brand can take you places that nothing else can take you, all right? And I always use the example of Rihanna selling her makeup line like that. She's selling that because... It's her. It, she ain't selling it because her stuff the best. I mean, now her product is good, so I hear. I don't know. I don't use it, right? But so I hear she got good products, right? But that's just a plus. Like, I have good products, especially my starter kits. I get five-star reviews on all my starter kits. Calculated clean? Yeah. I got a 4.2 out of five. That's okay. You know what I mean? Five stars. Lead generation? We definitely get some complaints on that, but it's good enough. It's better than home advisor, right? But, so I got good products, some great products. But most importantly, the stuff is selling because it's me behind it. And people are more willing to support you when they can resonate and work with you. That's why I'm urging you to build your brand. Think about this. If The Rock started a cleaning company tomorrow, guess what? If he went door to door with some clean, with some flyers for his service, you don't think he'd have a better chance of selling just because he was The Rock? <laughs> Dwayne Johnson? Y'all don't think so? You see what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I just I want a, a contract here recently here in Jacksonville, even though I don't have a cleaning company. But I was looking for con uh, contracts at the time because I was doing it like a subcontracting thing. But I stopped doing it. I might bring that back, though, first of the year. I'm still thinking about it. Just It's just hard to, man. I keep saying I don't want to do it, but I don't start it. And I'm like, Lord, I don't feel like dealing with it. But it's so hard not to do it when I know I'm capable of doing it. You know what I mean? Especially when I'm rubbing elbows with, with people like Ricky Regalado up there in Chicago doing $10 million a year subcontracting to people. It's kind of hard not to uh, not to want to tap into some of that, right? You know what I mean? But especially when I know I'm, it's, it's nothing for me. I own a lead generation service. I can get as many leads as I want to. You know what I mean? Just get customers like it's nothing. And so I might bring that back. But anyway, where was the point I was at on that? I don't I don't forget my point now. I see these comments coming in. Shout out Greasy Black. Excuse, excuse me, Greasy Back checking in. Jeff Ross Barfield, shout out to you. All right. Uh, Van Tressa checking in. Shout out CBN member. Who else we got? Jose said, thanks for answering questions. Shout out to you. He said 757. That's the area that I'm from. Uh, Portsmouth, Virginia area. Portsmouth, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Newport News, that, that area right there. That's where I'm from. That's 757. All right. What else we got? Uh, Peace King, keep shining. Appreciate that. Shout out Peace and War. What else we got? 
Got my first home cleaning job today. Shout out to Jose checking in. All right. Phil actually said last time I mentioned LA, you laughed. Is there a lot of competition out this way? What have you heard about LA area? And thank you for, I'm assuming you mean LA, California, and not Louisiana. If you are talking about LA, California, I think the reason why I probably laughed is because I know they got a lot of like restrictions when it comes to COVID in particular. So you, it's, it's a lot harder to maneuver. And then also, um, they just got a lot of the rules, man. That's why. You know, I, mean? I couldn't see myself. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I don't know if I would. I don't know. But yeah, they just, they because they got so many restrictions, that's all. But either way, we got people out there doing it and they, they building their business. So obviously it can be done. All right. What else we got? Uh, This may be a little bit off subject, but you plan on guaranteed contracts option again. I was just talking about that. Yeah. So I probably won't do the guaranteed contracts option, but instead what I'll probably do is subcontracting. So I'll get the contract. Uh, I'll handle the invoicing and all of that. And then I'll have people to come in and sub it for me. I'll probably either keep like 15 or 20% and then y'all keep the 85 to 80%, but it will see. All right. What else we got? Shout out to NSU cleaning. One of that's uh no, nah, that probably ain't what I think it means. But anyway, yeah, shout out to them. All right. And I'm gonna tell you this, man. When I say follow my blueprint, so what I decided to do was I created a new program because I realized, okay, I, I teach the cleaning. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of success stories from it. But y'all know I've been working on Get Paid to Be You for a while. That's why I'm live on the Get Paid to Be You channel as well now. So make sure y'all subscribe to that channel if you're interested in following my blueprint for success and creating your own personal brand because i'm telling you now you know what it's like this is my new phrase i'm gonna start saying it more and i made this up and i don't want nobody somebody gonna steal it at some point it's gonna become common knowledge that happened to me a lot on instagram <laughs> but uh i think that it's gonna get to the point where the amount of followers you have is gonna be part of your net worth all right remember i said that first i came up with that one day by myself i was just sitting there thinking and now think about this if you had two guys standing in front of you right now, they both were millionaires. One day wasn't on social media at all. Or if they were, they only had, let's say one was on social media. He had a hundred followers, just his close family and friends. Another one was on social media. He had a million followers. Which one would be more intriguing to you? And I know for some people, y'all can like that one with a hundred. Cause I like to be low key. I ain't gonna lie. I probably would say that too. But the truth of the matter is the world would be more interested in that guy with the million followers. I'm just going to tell y'all that now. So make sure that's why I'm pushing this now. It's like me, people need to really understand the importance of personal brand. Remember I told you, I didn't win that damn award because of the amount of revenue I was bringing in with that cleaning company. I won that award because of the following that I had. If you look at, uh, like matter of fact, I got the job as an operations manager, franchise owner consultant for Jam Pro. Remember when I moved to Florida and I still ran my company in Virginia, but I was running it remotely and I had the job in Florida working for Jam Pro as a franchise consultant slash operation manager, whatever they wanted to call it. My business card said franchise consultant, but then I think uh, the um, position was like operation manager. But anyway, I got that job. I didn't even put an application in. I didn't apply. I wasn't looking for a job to begin with. Somebody found me on YouTube. Actually, it was a Jana King person. Some lady out in Nevada in, in Las Vegas found me on YouTube and was like, I love the way you deliver your messages on your videos. You're very knowledgeable about the business. How would you like to be a sales rep for us over here at uh, Jana King, Nevada? I told Jan Pro about it. Jan Pro was like, hell no, you're too valuable. We can't have you go to the other brand. We'll hire you. We didn't know you were looking for a job. And I was like, well, shit, I tell you what. If y'all are hire me and y'all pay the right price, I'm trying to move anyway because back then I was looking to sell my cleaning franchise and move it to Atlanta and start all over with independently. That's what I was trying to do. But what ended up happening was when they heard that, they was like, well, we I don't know if we can get you in Atlanta, but is there anywhere else you would like to move because we'll hire you or whatever in the spot, whatever you want to do, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, shit, what I'm trying to really do is train other franchise owners how to uh, succeed the way I'm doing. And they was like, all right, is it anywhere in particular that you want to live? Now, mind you, Jam Pro got, and this, like, I don't know if I told this story or not, but Jam Pro got locations all over the world, not just the country, but all over the world. And this was the guy, he ain't there no more, but his name was Eddie Curry, CEO of the Jam Pro International. So I got the CEO of Jam Pro International calling me. I'm, I'm living out the projects at this time. 
<laughs> I was a little because you remember I moved out my single family, turned into a rental. Me and my, my wife and she was my fiance at the time moved to their projects, right? To save some money and have another source of income. So I'm on the phone with this guy, big corporate CEO, sitting out in the middle of the projects. They asked me where I want to live. So I told him straight up, look, keep me on the East Coast so I can still run my business from a distance. And that way, if I got to go back, I can get back quick. And then also put me somewhere warm. I was hoping that they got me to Atlanta while I was trying to go anyway. Instead, they found Jacksonville, Florida for me. And I'm so grateful because it was one of the best things. I think it ended up better, being better than going to Atlanta, just in my personal opinion. But um, all of, and so the point of that story was, how did I get that, though? Like, they paid for me to move my whole family, dog. And we, and, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't apply. The job was mine. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just simply do you want it or not. All because I built that personal brand. And as a matter of fact, I learned the most about what I know about the industry from that job. You know what I mean? So it's like, and that was another reason I took it too, because as Robert Kiyosaki teaches and a lot of his teachings, who's the author, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, pick that book up if you haven't read it already. What he teaches is you got to do things for experience. Everything ain't always about money. Sometimes you just got to do stuff for experience. Let me catch up on these comments because we're going crazy over here. All right. Shout out to Ms. Puller, long time CBN member. All right. Good afternoon to you. Big things. AJ still coming up and out his proud. Excuse me. Still coming up out here. Proud to see you doing your thing on a bigger level. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Yeah, we got a lot more to go. Y'all ain't even seen what I'm capable of. I just got to uh, get back on my grind. I've been chilling. Like I was telling somebody I'm on cruise control right now. I'm letting the money finally catch up because all I ever did was flip, 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 re-up, re-up, re-up. So every time I plant a seed, the moment that seed sprout a little something i flip it and put it back either into that existing business or into something new you know what i mean so right now i'm kind of in a period to where it's like all right cool let's go ahead and, and shop a little bit let's go ahead and buy now i mean uh, spend a little money a little bit okay now i can play video games a little bit this is the first in my in my entire life well i had a, a video game system that was actually like the newest one out you know what i mean like usually growing up when everybody got a playstation i had a sega you know what i mean when everybody had a sega i had a atari I mean, so I grew up always being behind because we couldn't afford it, right? But I always told myself once I started my company, I said, "But well, one day I'm gonna be able to buy the newest system and I can play competitively and I can do all of that, right?" And so it's like now I'm finally at that point. So I just been coasting for now. Let you know I mean, reaping the, the fruits of my labor for now. But now I'm about to get back in my grind, and y'all will see in a second what I really can do. All right. Uh, thank you for sharing. Great info. Appreciate that. Shout out Top Shotter. Edwin checking in. Shout out to Edwin. If that's Edwin from CBN, shout out to you. All right. Either way, shout out to Edwin nonetheless, even if it ain't for CBN, but y'all know it's special for the CBN members, right? Clean Business Network. All right. What words of advice do you have for someone who focuses primarily on construction cleaning? Go to uh, buildingconnected.com. Sign up up there. You should get some bidding opportunities over there, up there. That's number one. And then the other thing I got to say is simply document your journey the same way same thing i'm telling everybody to do document your journey man like get on there get on youtube talk about it i started a post construction company post about it every day on your social media on facebook hey i got a company we clean buildings after they first got built new constructions blah 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 if you know anybody meet up with some uh general contractors as well because they hold the keys to what you're trying to do all right uh no no stone unturned absolutely let me see what we got what's the key to cold calling now that everyone is hiring in-house give me a second and take me a little drink all right what's the key to cold calling now everybody is hiring in-house the key is simply do numbers make a list get you a spreadsheet i use google sheets myself get you a spreadsheet and hit the like button by the way i got a lot of people watching not a many likes so let's get them likes up but uh yeah hit this get you a spreadsheet make you a list of every business that you want to clean and if you don't know how to get a list of every business you want to clean google.com all right and then google the type of businesses that you want to clean engineering offices near me dentist offices near me Healthcare facilities near me. Whatever you want to clean, make a Google spreadsheet of every single business in your area that you want to clean, those type of businesses. Put the address beside them on the next block. Put the phone number beside on the next block. And then on the next block, leave a space for comments so you can type in what happened when you called them. 
and you just call them one by one by one by one and prepare to hear no, 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 a thousand times, maybe not a thousand, really gonna be no thousand, but get prepared to get shut down over and over till you finally get a yes. You can come by on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Then you go by Tuesday at 10 o'clock and close that deal. All right, what else we got? I do add up cleaning. I work with subcontracting company that takes uh 55, 45 split, leaving me up with 45%, but I have to pay all my own gas, buy all the equipment, and do my job myself. Is that a ripoff? It could be. It depends on how much you're making, though. Because, for example, if you getting 45%, all right, let's do let's do even numbers. If you do, let's say the job is a thousand dollars, and then they give you 45%, that's four hundred and fifty dollars. And let's just say the job took you an hour to do. Well, no, that ain't a ripoff then because for $450 for an hour, and if you can pay somebody else $100 to do that shit, you caking, right? So it depends. It just depends on how much they charge for that. You said it's ad duct cleaning. I don't have experience on that, so I don't know what that work entails, but I do know this. Anything usually outside of janitorial, such as, and what we call them as special services, and this is like a special service, they usually have the best margin. So, and then you said the job range from two, right? So all I need to know is because this is his reply to me right there. So what I need to know is then, okay, let's just say you get two hundred out of it. Okay, well, how much time would that take? And so if the time is good, or you can make a decent profit out of that, then not in a rip off. But if they, if if you can't pay somebody out of that percentage that you left with, and walk away with with a decent profit for yourself. Then yeah, the rip off. That's the best way to answer that. You gotta like when after you pay somebody, can you make enough? And then also too, when it comes to subcontracting, this is what I always tell people: do not try to make a career out of subcontracting. That is not the way to build a business long term. Subcontracting is for two things: one, for experience, and experience is the key. That's the number one thing subcontracting is for. If you're gonna be a subcontractor, now I ain't talking about the prime contractor that has subcontractors under you. Now that's a good way to build. But if you're going to be the sub for somebody else over you, number one, do it for experience. Get your cleaning experience up or your or your your whatever niche you in, your, your lawn care experience, whatever thing you're doing. Get your experience up with subcontracting. The other time, the only other time that subcontracting makes sense is if you don't have another job or you this is your main bread and butter and you need the work so you can get the money to pay your bills. Right. So you doing the physical work. You ain't hiring nobody else. Then it might make some sense then because you got to get by, right? Put some food on the table. But don't ever think that you're going to create a business out of subcontracting for somebody else because it's just simply not enough money to go around. That's why I don't like cleaning franchises anymore. Okay? So that's why I created Clean Business Network in the first place to help people avoid being under other people. I'm trying to teach you how to be the person on top of other people and stop being the person under people. All right? What else we got? I already read that one. All right, God is good. Appreciate that. Absolutely. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Shout out Sean Richards checking in. CBN GOAT right there. This man right here is a legend. If you ever decide to join Clean Biz Network and you get in that Facebook group and you see this man up in there, follow everything he do. Stalk him. <laughs> that got a man. Uh, Trevino Reed says, I got to start documenting next move for sure. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. That is That is that is the play. That saved me. Honestly, like putting myself out there saved me. Y'all can see I'm not the most polished. I just learned how to do this little stream yard shit right here. While I'm, you know, a lot of the YouTube is doing it now. I got the little logo, the little banner going across at the bottom and showing y'all comments on the screen. Now, I mean, we're getting a little fancy over here, my little logo up in the corner. So, we're getting a little somewhere. Got a, a little microphone, so hopefully, I sound clear as much as the damn thing costs. <laughs> right? But that's little stuff that I learned over time. I've been doing YouTube since 2014. You know what I mean? I've been doing this since 2014, and now, guess what? I get a decent check every single month. I get a check from YouTube that's big enough to pay most people's rent every month. It ain't huge, but you know what it is huge about YouTube? Is the fact that they provide me with an outlet to speak to y'all and provide and, and change y'all lives with the information that I provide, number one. Then number two, now I, as an entrepreneur, I'm creative, right? We creative as entrepreneurs. So now it's like, you know what? Well, shit, what else can I do? You know what, AJ, it'd be cool if you had a subscription service model like Netflix. Then I said, you know what, actually, damn, most people don't know how to bid. Let me create a, a, a bidding calculator. 
then it's like, you know, it just started as a calculator, but now let's add a proposal feature to it. Let's add a walkthrough feature to it. Let's add inspections to it. Let's add an invoice uh, generator to it. Let's add a social network to it. Now I got a mobile app that has all these tools and there's a monthly uh, premium on that. But how am I able to sell that? Because I built a personal brand. That's why. I'm not a great marketer. I'll be honest. I'm not. A, people think I'm a genius marketer. I'm not a genius marketer. I'm just relentless at posting every single day with dropping real knowledge, not no bullshit, just drop real knowledge. And every single time I do that, at least one person going to share me at least once a day. And over those years of building and building and building, that thing, you know, people going to come look for me and flock to me because they know I'm going to drop some real knowledge and I ain't going to just be on this shit trying to sell you uh, a course for uh, <laughs> five damn hours of talking and no damn substance that I see a lot of uh, uh, YouTubers doing. Right. Or I ain't going to be up here just flashing money and doing a damn uh, lifestyle blog. But I ain't actually telling you how I got what I got. Right. I'm telling you exactly how I got what I got. And that's what I, I also created. Get paid to be you now, because it's like, OK, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Yeah, I told you all everything you need to know about the cleaning business. But we got like we come on now. We got to be real here. I got out of my job because of the cleaning business. But I didn't become a millionaire from the cleaning business. I could have, but I didn't. I became a millionaire through Clean Biz Network. Right? But let's be honest here. So it's like, well, why don't I teach y'all how to do the same thing, the exact same thing that I did? I already taught y'all the first step, start a business. Now it's time I teach y'all the second step, build your brand. Clean with a get paid to be you.com is down there. That's what I'm teaching over there. All right, what else we got? Jose said, can you drop some knowledge on kitchen cleaning tips? I'm not the cleaning guy. I'm going to tell you now. I'm, a, I'm the business guy. I'm the cleaning business guy, not the cleaning guy. But, <laughs> right? And even when we did do the kitchens and stuff like that, my wife handled kitchens and bathrooms. I, I'm more, I'm an office cleaning guy. That's what I do. The best thing I can tell you is, what were some of the tips we used to do? I don't know, man. I'm going to leave it there. I'm the cleaning business guy. I ain't going to do too much on that. I'll let my wife talk about that if you want to hear about that. All right, what else we got? Uh, done and done, 100. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, in fact, that's what I've been waiting to do. Well, yes, now. absolutely. Just keep doing it. I'm telling you, that yes going to come. Shout out to Shalay. Shalay, who's a new CBN member. She uh, hopped on the CBN call yesterday. I do live Zoom calls for CBN every single Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern time, right? So if you ever join our program, don't think you're just going to buy my course and then you 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 forgotten. No, I, I go live every single week. Everybody don't take advantage of it, but I do. Every single Wednesday, 5 p.m., uh, I actually did miss last Wednesday because I was out of town at the uh, cleaning and cocktails event live doing the speaking thing there. But uh, but yeah, man, I'm up there every week. And shout out to Shalay because she told me that after what well, she went on, like a few walkthroughs, some of, I think the first two she went through that we sent to her, the leads, uh, they was not good leads. She got there and she said the people played dumb, which we know that that can happen. So I had to, you know, calmly walk her through the process of letting uh Admin at Clean Biz Network know what happened. We replaced those leads for her. Then she went on a couple more, I think. She didn't get the job, but she still kept going. Now, yesterday, she finally got her first uh, walkthrough where she, they seemed interested. She submitted a proposal yesterday, and it sounded like she decided, but I think it was a daycare, too, she said. So it sounded like she probably going to close that deal. I can't wait to share that story if she do get it, though. So shout out to her, because that's what it takes perseverance, man. You got to keep fighting through. Y'all see all of the... Uh, the uh, interviews I do. And like I said, I got another one coming up tomorrow with my guy, Brandon Lee. So definitely be on the lookout for that one, man. That man went five months without a contract. Then all of a sudden, now you look at him, he up to seven grand a month, 22 years old. Definitely look for that one tomorrow. All right, what else we got? Oh, I make about 2000 a week, but I do 4000 worth of work. 2000 a week, doing 4000 worth of work. Really want to do my own job. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right, but I really wanted to do my own job because because uh, people keep asking me to on the side. Thanks, though, really. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. And like I said, just the only sub if you want uh, experience or if you just need some quick cash because that's what you need to get to survive. Make sure y'all hit that like button. I appreciate y'all who did already. All right. Shout out to Deneen Robinson. I believe I said that right. All right, what else we got? That's what I'm going to do next. Start a channel. I'm telling you, everybody should have a YouTube channel. There's a guy I follow right now. One of my favorite YouTubers right now is actually not a um, 
not necessarily a business channel, but I get a lot of jewels from this guy. His name is a uh, Group 82. Group 82 Music Group. He's like his channel is mainly for like aspiring artists or whatever, how to make money as an independent artist. But that guy dropped nuggets. And one thing he said today was uh, I seen it on his Instagram. He posted. He said um, he deposited. He got an eighty five hundred dollar deposit today from uh, YouTube. And, no, excuse me, from Google, because y'all know Google own YouTube. And he was saying how basically it's free money out here. Why? Like, why are you not getting that? You know what I mean, and it's simply all for putting himself out there and sharing his opinion on the music industry. Because that's all it is, right? It's opinions that we have. And that was our opinion based on our experience. So which makes us believe that they're facts because we got things to back them up. But nonetheless, it's just you up here babbling, talking your shit, right? Most of us. And every now and then you got some comedy channels up there. You got some actual uh, shows and stuff like that. But for the most part, majority of YouTube is up here just talking. Why can't it be you? That's all I ask. Why can't like you already living anyway? That's why my family we started a family channel. I said, "Fuck, we need we need more." You know what I mean? <laughs> That's why I got. I actually got another channel. I have the we got the family channel. My wife runs that one. I got this main one, uh, AJ Simmons on YouTube. Then I got to get paid to be you channel. But most people don't know my very first channel is Everybody Eats. It's still up. It got about ten thousand subscribers over there. That channel still over there. Like, put yourself out there. It's enough for every single person out here to get a check. How do I know? Because guess what? Everybody watching YouTube anyway. Everybody watching anyway. The same way you watching my videos or listening to them, somebody else could be watching yours. Hell, I I, I definitely watch. I, I probably spend about, my phone probably run at least 10 hours a day on YouTube because I got the premium jank. So I'll close my phone, like the, I'll close the phone out, but the body audio will still be playing, right? Like 10 hours a day. So even though I'm a YouTube content creator, I'm also a consumer by far. And that's what all of you can be doing the same thing. You should be creating as well as consuming. Don't just be up here letting everybody else get this money. <laughs> I mean, don't let everybody else be up here getting this money at all. I got a deposit today from YouTube. It won't much. I actually I ain't even checked my account. I don't know how much they put in there. I think I got like probably, I don't know. I think it was 2100 today. I mean, just a little something, but it's worth it just for me to sit here and talk to y'all and tell you what I know. You know what I mean? That's just a bonus on top of the other services that I provide. That's, a, that's like a bonus. I forget it's coming every month. It's surprising. <laughs> and I feel good. And that could be you if you just simply stop being scared and worry about what people think. Fuck these people, man. Fuck them. Chavaz, what's going on? He said, get a Kavak machine for the kitchen cleaning. Shout out Javar. Javar has been cleaning for a long time. By the way, he was one of the ones that was at uh, the Jam Pro. Remember I told you I took the uh, franchise consultant job in Jacksonville, Florida. He was one of the franchise owners that I was consulting, right? <laughs> so uh, he bought in when I was there. And shout out to him. That guy been cleaning for a long, long, long time. His dad had a cleaning company. He learned up under him. So I would definitely take cleaning advice from Javar's any day. All right. What else we got? And as a matter of fact, I used to tell him the same thing. I used to tell them friends the same thing. I'm the cleaning business guy. I'm not the cleaning guy. We had another operations manager in there named uh, Mauricio. I would refer them to Mauricio for the cleaning stuff. Not that I can't clean, but it just I'm not really that interested in, in discussing that. I'm about this business. I'm about getting this money, honestly. So if it ain't for the customer that want me to clean something, I really don't. <laughs> I ain't really thinking about that at that point. You know what I mean? All right, what else we got? AJ, I'm thinking about reaching out to property managers at the shopping malls and offer trash removal and picking up trash in the parking lot. Do you think that's a good I think it's an excellent idea. I've seen people doing it. From what I hear, it's definitely some good money into it. Uh, I recommend it. Go for it. That's not necessarily, uh, you know, the cleaning industry, but that's an industry within its own self. And just from what I've seen, it looked like it might be a lot of high margin in that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely recommend it. What else we got? Sep has great products for. I'm thinking you because what is it called? Is it Sep? I think it. Well, I feel like it's called something else. But anyway, Sep has great products for any kind of dirt you need to clean. Use pumice stone, definitely pumice stone. You said for grease stains and always clean underneath and behind the stoves and fridge. Appreciate that. Yeah, pumice stone, and then uh, also what they say, barkeeper's friend is good as well. 
uh bible in the name of the game on youtube facts <laughs> facts and i try not to bible too much right i try to have some facts in my bible right but nonetheless guess what the longer we bible the longer i got that on money gonna be on payday every what is it 21st every month when youtubers get paid so that's also why i'm trying to do more of these lives now because hell that'll help the money go up right and that's what we're doing we're getting paid to bs that's 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 the new wave now you remember and remember i told you i got it my first channel was everybody eats that's one of my phrases as well as a matter of fact i'm coming out with a merch line here shortly as well i told you i got so many things i'm finna do because i just been bullshitting i've been really coasting i'm got all right y'all understand i could I, see, I, I ain't want to say stuff like this because it, it could come out wrong but fuck it i just gotta say it so you can understand i get i literally get paid every single day and i some days i don't do a damn thing i don't do shit i, I would just sit there literally because i take i try to take a cheat day at least once a week and just literally play the game i play 2k all day and drink beer i kind of cut back a little bit on that because i was actually starting to get a belly and if y'all seen me in real life before you know i am not a big guy <laughs> you know what I mean, and so it's like I can't be short and skinny and have a pop belly. You know what I mean? Like that ain't gonna work. So I had to cut back a little bit on the beers and, and the cheat days. But for the most part, my goal is to try to take a cheat day at least once a week, just to chill, not do anything. You know what I mean? And on those days, I still will get paid. Okay, and that's what I'm trying to teach you to have. But you can have that once you build that personal brand. And a lot of times too. Like we got like I I started to get burned out too. That's why like when I was remember I told you I was about to uh sell my cleaning franchise and I was trying to move to Atlanta. I was kind of burnt out at that time. Honestly, like I had a lot of accounts that were just seeming like goddamn no matter what we do. Not a lot. I had the, like basically my two or three biggest ones was like that. It was like dang no matter what we do they always complain. Then I got to keep uh you know always retraining my workers out there. I always had long tenured workers for the ones that I wanted to keep. They always stayed with me. But it was just like, you know, after a while, things get old and you wait for something to shake. And that's why I always kept multiple sources of income. Back then, I had a book out on Amazon for sale. Back then, I had a YouTube channel that was giving me checks. Back then, I had a rental property that was paying me every month, right? I had multiple things going on. Eventually, I started selling starter kits. It wasn't quite the kit that I have today, but it was a starter kit that was for sale, right? And so it's like I was always thinking of more ways that I can make a little more. Yes, the cleaning business was my main thing. That was the thing I was going to build up. But I was always thinking about a little bit more. And then also, too, definitely have some external things that drive you to push you more. One of the biggest things that was pushing me was my brother being in prison. And I knew that he would be coming home soon. And I wanted to make sure that I had something for him for when he came home. And I didn't know whether it was going to be him being a manager at my company, which I kind of knew wasn't going to work anyway, because we both Aries and we clash. <laughs> now we will clash. If, if like we could, we we are all right. But it's like if you would have been under me for too long, like that definitely wouldn't have worked. So I always knew that it was like I'm going to have to show him. Or better yet, you know what I really wanted to do? I wanted to give him the money to invest in his own and just buy his own franchise. Because back then I believed in franchises, and that was my thing. I wanted. All right, bet. You, I'm a, I'm a, you can buy your own franchise. Here you go. And then what I'm going to do is I'll even sell you some of my account. That was my ultimate goal. And so that was something else that pushed me. Like, you got to have things outside of you that push you so, like, far above just yourself. Because a lot of us don't need that much to be content. You know what I mean? You got to have stuff bigger than you. You know what I mean? Think about my kids and the environment that we was in and not wanting them out there. Now, I mean, think about my wife and her bald up ass face when we was out in the buildings every single day. Zep. That's what I was looking for. I see the word Zep. You said Zep at first. I knew it was something. But anyway, but think about them days every day seeing my wife bald up ass face while we cleaning them buildings. And I'm feeling guilty because it's like, damn, if I had my shit together, she wouldn't have to deal with this. You know what I mean? And it's like, so just knowing that one day I'm going to prove to her and show her that it's going to pay off. I didn't really didn't know. You know what I mean? When you in the beginning stage, you think it's going to work. You hope it's going to work. Them motherfuckers on YouTube and then them audio books and then all this motivational stuff telling you it's going to work if you just keep going, keep going. I mean, Les Brown, I couldn't play Les Brown enough. Eric Thomas, enough. <laughs> now I mean? All these different people, man. Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, Jim Ron, Jim Rohn, however you say his name. You name them, I played them. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's like, I'm just listening to these people. These people say it's going to work. Damn it, I'm going to keep believing them. Napoleon here said it's going to work. I'm going to keep believing them. Earl Nightingale said it's going to work. I'm going to keep believing. I'm going to keep going. And I keep promising her. And it's like, damn, year after year going by. We was grinding for 10 years straight. 
10 years straight, nonstop work, 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 work. I started at 19. I stopped. Like, I finally started, really got over the hump around about 30, 31. But over 10 years straight, we grinded nonstop. And then finally, finally, once I, number one, stopped having a middleman over me and got from under that franchise and seeing that whole bag start going into my business bank account, that's what really changed it, number one. And then number two, by putting myself out there and building that brand, y'all, you got to do that, man. I'm telling you, is that the only way to do it? No. But that's the way I did it, and that's all I can do is teach you what I know. All right, that's all I can do is teach you what I know. If you like this video, man, hit that like button right now. If you think somebody can benefit from this video, hit the share button right now. Leave comments, all that. All right, what else we got? Shout out to my guy right here. He said he remember everybody eats. Yeah, you've been around for a while then. All right, let's see what we got. Mr. Ryan says, I've been watching your videos and started a cleaning business. I'm currently building a website, and the plan is to launch the business in January. You make this stuff look good, AJ. Salute to you. I appreciate that. And I try to make it as easy as possible, man. I promise y'all, when I was with Jam Pro Doll, I was such a go-getter, and I always wanted to get my own contracts because I was trying to save on the fees, right? I read the whole fine print, the whole franchise disclosure document, the whole franchise agreement, all that, from front to back, several times, sometimes, <laughs> right? So I knew what every fee was, they won't never get over on me. Sometimes they, shit, that sometimes, most months, more often than not, when they sent me my monthly statement to show me what my check was about to be, I had to send it back to them and correct it every single time because I was on it like that. As a matter of fact, I used to send them invoices before they sent me the statement. Every single month I would send them an invoice through QuickBooks. Then eventually they got hip and started requiring franchise owners to provide a monthly statement is what they call it to tell uh, Jam Pro the work that they did and how much they should make. But I was already sending them actual invoices before because like, if I'm a business, I should be invoicing my customer. And if they're paying me, then guess what? They're my customer. You know what I mean? But anyway, I got sidetracked. I forgot where I was going with that. Uh, bought a lead from you. Going to buy next one. Can I get a promo code? <sighs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'll do that for you this time since um the videos only get what maybe five to a thousand five hundred to a thousand views per video. So ain't but so many people gonna see this, and only a few take action anyway. So I give you I give you one. First off, for the record, is a promo code section on the lead generation application when you apply, right? But that's only for clean business network members who get the biggest discount. They get 20% off, and then calculated clean members get 10% off. All right. So I'll give you the calculated clean discount. But guess what? I'm going to go freestyle off the top of my head. So if I'm wrong and this don't work, sorry, just join calculated clean. It's free anyway. Seven day free trial, I mean. First seven days is free. So if you join that, you'll get the code. But now that I say that, I think I need to fix that because. When you used to join Calculated Clean, it used to be a dashboard page that you get to. And I changed it. And I don't know if that discount. Oh, I know how to do it. Bam. So after you join, it's a seven-day free trial for anybody that wanted. I'm about to tell you the code, though, but hold up. I'm just telling you this just in case I'm wrong about what I think the code is. All right. So when you join Calculated Clean for the seven-day free trial, right, a $29 a month plan, Go to my account, and at the top of my account, you'll see the code up there. That's how you can find it. All right. But the code, if I remember correctly, is CCO10. All right. So CCO, as in calculated clean online, and then 10, like 10% off. So CCO10. That's it. All capital letters, no spaces. All right. What else we got? Shout out Thomas Spite checking in. As a matter of fact, you can help motivate this video too, Tom, because I seen your comment in the uh, I mean your post inside uh CBN earlier today. And I was just thinking, like, I owe this to you and everybody that follow me. You know what I mean? Because I know how it is when I got burnt out and I was just getting tired of shit. I was getting tired of my subcontractors, I was getting tired of my customers, just tired. You know what I mean? <laughs> just tired. You know what I mean? And it's like after doing the right thing for so long. 
never skipping a night of vacuuming. A lot of people try to skip vacuuming. Never, I mean, like, always had Dustin, always doing every little thing. And it was just like, I'm still not making the money I'm supposed to be making because my stupid ass went through a franchise and I got all this debt on these accounts because when every time you get an account from their ass, they sell it to you at three or four times the monthly growth. So, uh, and I mean, so it was just like, I had so many things going on was like the money won't match up with the goddamn work. And then on top of that, like I'm, just, I was just physically tired, man. I was tired. So when I seen your post about you, just kind of was just like, "Fuck it," <laughs> you know what I mean? Ain't no more employees. I'm gonna just clean it myself, just right quick for the peace of mind and to get that bag out right quick. And I was like, you know what? Tommy should be documenting this, getting at least get another check from YouTube, at least build something. You know what I mean? Because as a matter of fact, shout out Dietrich Carr. Dietrich Carr is doing business consulting now, based off of the interview he did with me. On my channel, people reach out to him now and say, hey, can you teach me what you know, right? And that's why I do that, too, is because I try to put other people on, because guess what? The same way that I can talk to y'all the way that the janitorial store can't, or that Ricky Regalado can't, or that even uh, my, my girl Tenacity Academy can't, guess what? They all can do the exact same thing, too. They can talk to y'all the way that I can. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And all a lot of y'all watching me right now can talk to people the way that I can. That's why I'm telling you to do it. Because guess what? Each one going to teach one. Some people going to go to you. Some people going to go to me. Some people going to... It's always been like that. Shout out my guy Fabio Hart. Fabio Hart been doing this for a long time, just like I have. Fabio Hart got his own little following over there. They do their thing. I ain't going to say little. I don't mean it like that. But what I mean is he got his group that follow him. I, I got my group that follow him. We always had to understand with each other was like, look, ain't no competition. I done been on his channel before. He been on my channel before. You know what I mean? And, and everybody just mind their own business. They get their own bag and we good. And that's what I'm trying to put y'all on to. All right. Clean the business is just a piece of the pie. It's time to start getting some more of this piece of the pie. Get paid to be you.com. That's my program right now. I'm pushing to get more people building their personal brand. I know a lot of y'all not as tech savvy as I am. That's one. I'm not going to sit here and lie. That is one advantage that I have always had. For some reason, somehow, I just always been a technical guy. My cousin joked uh, when I was uh, back in Portland not too long ago, back on. And he was saying how uh, when we was kids, right? And we was to have a little fake singing group. We was kids, right? And uh, I used to put the little tissue inside the holes of the cassette tape so you can hit play and record and record over any tape. Then I got smart to put tape over it instead of tissue in the hole. But he was like, well, how the hell did you know that? Like, it won't have said thing as Google and YouTube back then. So how the hell, like, did the ancestors come down and tell you to do that? Like, that's what he was saying to me. And I was like, you know what? That's crazy you said that. I don't know. I don't know how. I think I just... Was like I was. I think because I think I, what I did was I looked at the cassette tape that was meant for recording because they would sell the blank recordable tapes, and then I looked at the ones that were just like regular song cassette tapes, and I compared them all around. I realized, damn, this one got holes on it, this one don't. What if I cover these holes? And bam, figured it out, right? And so my point is, I understand that I am a little more technical savvy than most people. Well, not most people. Let me take that back. But I'm more technical savvy than the average person. That typically comes from the hood, especially men in particular, right? Because women sometimes are more technical savvy from my experience. But anyway, so it was like then I also had a hell of a goddamn uh, keyboard and teaching in middle school. So I learned how to type early. She, if you look down, she would smack your hand. You know what I mean? She covers your hands with paper so you couldn't look down. So I learned how to type early. Little stuff like that that made a difference. So it's like, yeah, I did have those advantages. But guess what? This ain't stuff that ain't teachable. So that's why I put it in the program, right? Get paid to be you.com. And so now I'm like, you know what? Y'all gonna learn too. You're gonna learn how to start your YouTube channel. You're gonna learn how to get your podcast. I got my boy Calvin Yat Yat Weaver who does my podcast. He does the a uh, lot of editing, all of my social media stuff, my Instagram stuff that you see when it's like kind of next level. That's him. It ain't me, <laughs> right? He he better than me with it. But uh my video I posted yesterday when you seen me at speaking at the event, that's him. You see how high quality that video was, right? And so I got him inside the course as well, teaching some things. He's the one who uh, teaches about the podcast part because I don't really know much about that. He does some things about marketing and stuff like that. So definitely, man. But anyway, let me read this. Do you have any advice on how I can get phone numbers for small cleaning businesses in my area I can partner with uh, for a subcontract? Absolutely. Google. That's number one. Janitorial companies near me and call them. All right. And so I don't know if you're looking to partner with them for them to sub under you or if you're looking to partner to sub under them. But either way, you can find them both the same. And so based on before you call them, you can easily look at their website 
or like just certain little things that you could that makes you be able to tell if it's a big company or a small company, right? And so uh you can look and see if it's a small company, then you know that's the ones you want to target to sub under you. If it's a big company, okay, maybe you can sub under them, right? And so that's one of the ways to do it. Uh Craigslist is another one. You can put an ad out there on Craigslist. Uh, what else? We got Monta. Are they even still around? M-A-N-T-A dot com. They usually would tell you the size of the company and everything. If you look up a company on that uh, website right there, they'll tell you the size of the company, how many employees they roughly got, roughly how much uh, revenue that company might be doing a year, stuff like that. But that's my recommendation on that. And also definitely ask CBN group ask and, and these other Facebook groups up there as well. All right, trying to get to that point. I'm telling you, you can get there. I'm telling you how to do it. I just quit my full-time job working on my cleaning business full-time. That's it. So now you systemize it. Get your start document, whip that phone out every day. It ain't got to be the best phone. Trust me, my videos won't all that. Then eventually, as I, after I start getting some YouTube checks, I said, you know what? I owe it to the people to have a better looking quality camera. So I just upgraded my phone. I didn't go get no fancy camera yet. I just got a better phone with a better quality camera, thousand dollar phone. Paid cash for it because I'll be damned from a financial phone. I cannot stand that. <laughs> I can't stand that. Why would you finance a phone? Though? Like that's just the worst financial decision ever. All right. But anyway. Uh, what's your thoughts on buying an existing uh, cleaning business accounts included? In one second. Hit the like button if you're still here with me, if you haven't already. All right. Here's what I got on buying existing businesses with accounts included. I love it. Okay. Because <laughs> that's business acqu acquisition is one of the fastest ways to grow in life. Like just buy something that's already working. But just make sure that if it ain't a franchise in particular, if, if it's an independent company and you buy, just make sure that you um like they have actual service agreements in place with these people. Make sure that they're not all about to expire. Um, make sure that like if you once you get to the serious phases of buying, see if they'll do like take you around and introduce you to the customer so you can get a good feel and see if the customer will be even comfortable with you, you know, taking over right try to get like dig into that business and make sure they don't owe any taxes or anything got any liens like anything crazy like really dive into it but as long as it's a good deal and everything all the boxes are checked absolutely definitely do that bob proctor that's another one listen to all of them all of you name them i did because bob proctor actually came from the clean industry so of course i listened to him yeah but all the thought leaders man definitely listen to them and uh I said, it sounded like I said thought leaders. You know what I mean? Thought, how you both said. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to skip through now, see if I can find the questions. But I appreciate everybody for uh, chiming in, though. Shout out Care Cleaning Services. What else we got? The best thing about starting a business is getting away from these goofy jobs and boss facts. That was the only reason why I wanted to do it. I ain't want to, I just knew not want no job, dog. I swear. I swear. This is it. Getpaidtobeyou.com, y'all. And y'all know, so when I first released it, I put it out at a premium price that I felt like it was worth. It was $19.99. I have remorse, <laughs> right? I have remorse, and I just, I just, uh, and plus, I want to, I want to, like the same way I got success stories for, uh, for, for my Clean Biz Starter Kits and for Clean Biz Network, I want to have those for Get Paid to Be You, too. I want to see more people getting paid to be up here, building any brands. Having passive income streams ain't nothing like it, though. So I lowered the price. Right now, I think it's what a $7.99 all the way down from $19.99. Eventually, it will go back up to $19.99. But first, I'm just trying to get some success stories in there. And yes, there's a payment plan in there, too. And also, if you go to getpaidtobu.com, they're going to ask you to, I mean, type in your email, blah, blah, blah. Then they want to take you to the next page with the webinar. That second button under there to say click this special discount button is even cheaper than that. It's actually half off of that. And I meant I was gonna take it off, but then I was like, no, nah, fuck it. Let's just see what they do. Let's see who actually can take advantage before I take it off. All right. What else we got? Mr. Osgood says, Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew it was you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was you. I won't forget you because I mean when I came down to Orlando, and the plus you always up there laughing at me when I do my rant videos when I be snapping. <laughs> so yeah, I already know who this was. Appreciate you, bro. And definitely keep that YouTube channel going too. Cause I remember you did get started. And and then like you, you you slow down a little bit, so definitely keep it going, bro. And then whenever you're ready, you know what I mean, I have you on for an interview too. You can talk about your journey. All right, CBM member over there, by the way. 
y'all can get that treatment too if y'all just join us in Clean Biz Network or, or get paid to be you. Or if you just ask me, because I ain't going to lie, you ain't got to be no member. <laughs> right? Just ask me, though. And I'll definitely have you on the show as long as you work. I mean, if you got a store to tell, as long as it makes sense to have you up here, I'll have you up there. But if you just got an LLC, you <laughs> know what I mean, and the EIN, I mean, talk a lot, then no, uh, that ain't going to work. But if you got if you got some actual business experience and you actually built something, we'd be more than happy to have you on. All right, AJ, what you think about getting into government cleaning jobs? I think that. Let me slow down first before I say it. See if there's any reason why I shouldn't say that. Yeah, I think they're a great opportunity, though. I think it's awesome. I think that uh, I've seen a lot of people. I ain't gonna say I've seen a lot of people, but I've heard of people like getting life changing income by just simply doing government contracts. Absolutely. I think it's, it's huge. So. That's my opinion on it. Only reason I never done it because I was too lazy to do that long ass paperwork that they put you through. But at the end of the day, it's just paperwork. If you want it bad enough, you'll do it. I didn't want it bad enough, apparently. Fact. Jam Pro got a billion dollar company by now. They've been around since the 80s. That's a fact. That is a fact. So you know what I'm doing? I'm just getting a little piece of that powder. So with Clean Biz Network. And that's another thing, too. I learned this from Bob Johnson, first billionaire in America, first black billionaire in America. A lot of people think it was um, the guy that wrote Watch the White Guys Have All the Fun. I forgot his name, but it wasn't him. He had a billion. He was a partner in a billion dollar company, but he didn't own enough equity to be actually be a billionaire. Bob Johnson, the founder of BET, was the actual first black billionaire. But what he taught me was, and my, Magic Johnson said this, too, as a matter of fact, find an industry where black people are underserved or underprivileged and then go all in on it and cater to the to the to the black people in the industry or whatever culture you from not just black people but mine is black because i'm black right and so what i realized was okay i see some people talking about this cleaning industry but ain't no black people up here talking about it and it's mostly black people out here cleaning it i see black people and hispanic people right <laughs> so like fuck it i'll talk to them and guess what i'm gonna talk to them the way what they we can understand so a lot of times I used to listen to some of them old business videos with these old white guys up there and they was talking over my head. I didn't know what the hell they were saying. And that's another thing, too, I want to tell y'all, by the way. Even if you listen to certain video, Bill Gates talking, by the way, I don't like his ass. And definitely you can call me a conspiracy guy all you want to. I ain't messing with Bill Gates. I think he up to something different. But anyway, business wise, <laughs> OK, business wise, I used to listen to some of his videos, Steve Jobs, a lot of these guys. And they would be talking clean over my head. Clean over my head. I didn't know what the hell they were saying, but guess what? I'm going to keep listening, keep listening, listening. And one day, all of a sudden, them words starting to make sense. Now, all of a sudden, I understood what they said when they, when they mean scaling. Oh, scaling a business. You know what I mean? Or when they say a little stupid shit, the bottom line. I thought that the bottom line, I thought it was just a figure of speech. I didn't know that the bottom line was actually referring to the balance sheet. And that's the bottom line is your actual net income after all the expenses taken out. On the income statement, I didn't know that, right? But after you keep listening to these people and studying and learning shit, you figure shit out, right? Shout out Everlasting, checking in. Mr. Nitty, appreciate you uh, being real, bro. And thanks for the lead generation service. I've been grabbing apartment businesses like crazy in Michigan. Can't wait to next month's lead. Absolutely. One thing about us, I ain't going to lie to you. Appreciate that, Nitty, by the way. Uh, shout out to lead generation. One thing about us, we've been apartments. It's been our specialty since day one. And that won't even plan. That was an accident because I didn't like apartments when I was in the business. But for some reason, that lead generation, we just murder apartment bills. So if you want more apartment bills, we definitely can get you all those. <laughs> right. We can get you all the ones, too. But apartments in particular seem to be our specialty. All right. I'm going to try to hurry up through these. I ain't going to post every single comment going forward because I see them over an hour. But shit, these other you trying to see somebody on this thing for like four five hours. I'd be like, what in the hell? <laughs> Like, but I guess those people must ain't got families either. I'm trying to get home to my family at some point today, right? I'm still at the office. I would show my face, but I took my braids out last night, and I'm looking crazy as hell with this hat just flying all over my head. I ain't pick it out or nothing. It's just out here. Y'all see it because I recorded the interview <laughs> uh, earlier today like that. So the video, y'all see it tomorrow. But anyway, shout out Brandon Ward checking in, CBM. I thought I was going to see you up in uh in Chicago this past weekend, too. What else we got? Uh, how to get leads for VAs. You mean how to get leads from VAs, maybe? Or for VAs. I don't know what you mean. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. How to basically get them list to call. 
So I got a real extremely quick way, but it's inside a special course that I got called the in-house lead generation service. So I basically teach you how to create your own lead generation service so you don't need mine. And you can get that at cleanbiznetwork.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click all of our courses. All right. But and but the simple answer to that is what I said earlier, right? Without even knowing my little simple tricks and all that. The simple way is simply Google. Make a list form, right? So get on Google and, and type in the type of businesses you want to clean, make a list of it, and then give it to them. Or you can tell them to do it. Make a training video, find a screen recording software. It's called Ice Cream. That's the one I use. You can use Zoom and record your screen, but record your screen of you making a list and then train them on how to make their own damn list. And now they can do the list and cold call. All right. What else we got? Following your lead, get paid to be you. I'm definitely on this, on that. Uh, as the next move. Absolutely. Shout out to Thomas Spike checking in. I remember those cassette tape facts, <laughs> right? We aging ourselves a bit, but that was definitely, that was, that was our era. All right. Do your due diligence. Absolutely. All right. Let me see if I can find some. What's this? You think taking over a franchise company is a good idea? It depends on who you are. If you... It depends on who you are, <laughs> right? Yeah, because if you – maybe, 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 all right? Because honestly, let's be real. Like, honestly, it's more money independent, so why not just be independent? Why have them somebody in the middle of your money for when you can just get all your money? That's the first thing. But let's just say – you're a person, like I was talking about earlier, that may not be that tech savvy like I am, how I am. You might not be that business savvy like I am, but you just want to start a business. Like, I got homeboys right now, literally straight off the street of selling, you know what I mean, whatever they decide to sell, you know what I mean, out in the street or whatever. And if they was to come straight off the street right now and be like, bro, I'm trying to start a cleaning company, can you help me? I ain't gonna lie, I probably point them in the direction of a franchise simply because I don't want to deal with the, the the part of having to polish them up as professionals. You know what I mean? Some of them might not even have an email address. You see what I'm saying? So, but if you're a type of person where you know you you polish, you got an email address, you can speak professionally. You know what I mean? You can type complete sentences and 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 and, and you know dress it up a bit. Then you don't need no franchise. Because they don't really do but so much for you. No way. I wouldn't do that. Nope. I wouldn't. All right. <clears throat> Shout out to uh, Osgood. Clean Biz Network put me on. If you're thinking about it, stop thinking and do it. The information is life-changing. Appreciate that, Tommy Spite. And by the way, I got an interview with him on my channel. So if you missed that, definitely go check that out. Successful Clean Biz Network member right there, nonetheless. Tips for budgeting and operating a business. Now, that's a good one. I supposed to have been made a video on this. The best tip that worked for me, because with cleaning, a lot of times I was getting paid once a month, first of the month, or the last day of the month, was I would always do my, I would pay myself once a month because I got used to it. So as the business would get money in, I would pay myself one lump sum. Let's just say the business bought in 10 grand for the month or something like that. Actually, maybe that's too high. Let's say the business bought in five grand a month. First, how much is your personal expenses, right? So, excuse me. So every single month, actually before, well, yeah, I'll say this first. So the business bought in five grand a month, and let's just say your business, your 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 expenses are about 3000 a month. Okay, bam. So you know that you probably going to have to pay out 3000 every single month and your business be left with two, but not quite, because guess what? You got to live too. You got to eat. You got to get gas. You might go out on a date, whatever, right? So maybe another extra thousand on top of that. So, but this is this is the point I really want to drive on. Get you a good credit card. Get you a good credit card that has a high enough limit that could cover all your bills every month and allow you to, to go out and shit, right? Because once I did that, that changed everything for me too. Especially for somebody like me that travels a lot now, I go back and forth. And so I got a, a credit card that got like hotel points to come with it. So every single month I swipe and pay all my bills with the credit card, right? Then if we go somewhere, fast food, anything, credit card, credit card, credit card. So now all the bills, I'm and so I'm at, I'm getting points from simply paying my bills and spending money I was already gonna spend anyway with my checking account. But now I'm just doing it with my credit card. 
Then every single month on the first, pay that whole jank lump sum right back. Pay it all back. Don't leave more than 5% on that thing. Right? So if you got a $3,000 credit card, pay it all back. And then maybe leave like, if you leave like $150 balance up there, cool. But now your credit score going up, you're earning free hotel points or flight points or whatever type of points you get on your card. And like you managing your money well. So that's how I would do it. I think that just put yourself on a set budget, pay yourself out. And that's it. That's the best tip I got for now. Use credit cards. All right. And don't use them credit cards like emergency. That's what we all used to do when we come from the hood because nobody taught us how to use a credit card. Don't save credit cards for emergencies. Use them and pay them things back in full every single month. Do you think it is very imperative to have a website when you first start out? I don't think it, it like it ain't mandatory, but it definitely will help because these people definitely going to look you up after you leave that walkthrough. And before you even come, you know what I mean, if they already know the name of your company. I know a fellow who has owned a cleaning franchise for years and asked me about buying it a while back. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. That's exactly why I opened mine, okay? AJ, you're a smart man. I totally don't trust these Bill Gates and NWO trying to kill us. I caught that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't with them. I ain't with them. You know what I think, though? After my studies, right? So according to my studies, this is what I really think he's up to. Because I was like, why in the world would the elites want to kill the people if the people basically serve them? If you look at it, like they rich because we buy all this stuff, right? And if we don't exist and... And you know what I mean? Like we serve, we we feed them. They don't cook their own food. Other people do, right? They would everything they got is because of working class people, right? So it's like, well, why would they want to kill them? So I don't think the agenda to kill them. You know what I think it is? And if you go look up, if you've been researching like I researched, you saw that speech he gave on uh the TEDx talk or whatever. I think that what they're trying to do is basically sterilize a lot of people so that they can't reproduce and decrease this population because they say that there's too many people on the planet and too much CO2 in the air, blah, blah, blah. So they need less people up here. That's what I think they're up to. But anyway, off the conspiracy stuff. I probably need to start a conspiracy channel too. All right. And, and I, and anyway, the affluent one, long time subscriber says, How do you feel about GC possibly getting into the cleaning industry? And are you still a fan of it? Grand Card owners get, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm definitely still a fan. I don't watch him nowhere near as much as I used to. It's like, ever since he did the, uh, the undercover billionaire, it's like he is, his content took a hit because of that. But uh, I tell you what, he posted something, I think, yesterday and today that was, like, great. He got a, a new uh, interview on Lewis Howes. That was a life-changing podcast. Matter of fact, I listened to that on the way to the office this morning. That's the reason why I'm live right now after hearing that. That was motivating. And then he had another one that he posted today. So definitely still checking in on him here and there. But I don't listen, listen to him as much as I used to uh, here recently. But he's definitely the reason I'm on live right now because I always forget. You know what I mean? I don't never want to be the course selling guy. I don't never want to be the, 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 you know what I mean? I don't want to be in that, that, don't put me with them. You <laughs> know what I mean? But he always reminds me, along with other people in my life, such as Calvin Weaver, shout out to him, and, and, and all the CBN members who support me and keep me afloat. Because it, he always reminds me, though, in addition to these people is, it's not that I'm pushing my course or selling it or, or none of that. It's simply I'm trying to help. And if you got something that's going to help people, then why wouldn't you tell them about it? You know what I mean? So that's why I'm talking about get paid to be, even though I really won't say nothing about it first. And see, it's like I got no problem with telling you about Clean Business Network. You know why? Because I believe in the product enough now. I done seen enough testimonials, enough testimonials to, to get to that point, right? But then it's like, okay, well, with get paid to be you, why I ain't pushing it? I ain't got no problem put, pushing Clean Business Network. And it's like, oh, because you ain't got no proven testimonials yet. It's like, well, AJ, you ain't going to get none if you don't tell them about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, so at this point, it's like, I got to be honest and, and, and moral with myself. Like, okay, well, do you really believe it's going to help them and change their life? My answer is, hell yeah. It's like, okay, well, tell them about it then. You know what I mean? And, and so that's what I'm here to do today. So I definitely still listen to Grant Cardone, and he's the reason I'm here today. Had a nice apartment contract, 2000 a month, and I lost it during COVID. That's horrible. But you know what? A lot more out there where that came from. Just keep pushing. That's that's how that going. You got to pivot. Y'all know Calculated Clean, my mobile app, was free until COVID hit. Then I had to pivot. And, all right, but some people might be scared to start a cleaning company now. Guess what? For the ones that's already in that know we still getting money over here, 
Now let me go ahead and I mean we'll charge for this. I think and then some one of my subscribers, I wish I could remember their name because they said it to me back. They said, look, just charge $4.99 and we'll pay it. No, I mean, <laughs> good. You deserve to get compensated for that product. It's a good product. And that was back before it could do the proposals and all of that stuff it can do now, had a social network up. So it was just simply a calculator. So that's why it was $4.99 at first. And once I add all this other stuff, and I said, all right, $29. And it's still cheaper than every single other product on the market that does what my app can do and a lot less. None of them can do what mine can do with the social networking and propose everything that it does. But anyway, all right, what else we got? Will lead generation course be discounted anytime soon? Nah, because I really don't want to sell it in the first place, if I'm honest with you. I, I'd rather not sell it. But here's a secret. A lot of the stuff, I think I, I probably teach more in the Get Paid With You than I do in the lead generation course anyway. As a matter of fact, inside Get Paid to Be You, I teach you how to white label my lead generation service. So, <laughs> so you probably better off just getting that. And then I'm you probably gonna get what you're trying to find out anyway. So, and if you don't get what you think you're trying to find out with it, then just let me know and I'll make sure that you I tell you what you think you're missing. All right. If you get that quote. All right. Sean Richard says at the at Excuse me, AJ, at year three, I'm considering making a move for independence at this time. Would like to know your thoughts. I think that we'll have to talk separately outside of this. But uh, because honestly, because, you know, I, I feel like your franchise. So Sean Richards with a different type of franchise. He ain't with Jan Pro, Jana King, Coverall, none of your traditional ones. He would have brand. He was actually the very first unit franchise owner they ever had. Actually, I don't even know he was considered a unit. He might be a master. I don't know because he got like a whole territory. He got like three different states. So I, we'll have to talk outside of this live, and I, I probably had to get some more details. But all, all, on the surface, obviously, it's always better to get the better bag. And I think I can tell you what I usually tell most other franchise owners. I'm not telling you what to do. This is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney. But... If you do decide to go outside of your franchise, no, excuse me, let me re rephrase it. If I decided to go outside of my cleaning franchise and go independent, what I would do is open up a completely separate LLC and start looking for contracts immediately. And then once I build up that independent contract, excuse me, that independent business with the separate LLC up to a good enough level, I would sell the franchise that was in existence. So now you got a big lump sum of cash and you still got the revenue coming in from that other business that you already started. That's what I would do. But we can talk more later if you want to. Shoot me a text or something. All right. Uh, JMD Jan Troyer says, excellent point uh, about using your credit card wise. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Uh, they say this, they get all on people's middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to go too far on that little day. He on there too now. I need to worry about how many billions, right? <laughs> all right. I think I might have actually caught up with all the comments, finally. All right. Charlene said, Miss Charlene says, uh, I enjoy listening to you. Very inspirational. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, and I'm glad to help. And for everybody listening, subscribing, commenting, sharing, liking, I truly appreciate y'all. Whoever hit the love button, I appreciate that. Facebook show me that. YouTube don't really show me everything if i got any super chats over there on youtube i appreciate y'all too i don't get those too often so if anybody did it you the person i was about to say man but it could have been a woman but you the person so i appreciate that man who we got e-man how long should contracts be they usually one year usually we do it one year i heard somebody at this last event i went to this past weekend they said that they do three-year contracts uh but here's the thing and the guy it was this guy that he was an experienced guy uh he said the reason why he still do one year contracts because it really don't matter. At the end of the day, even with your contract in place, there's usually something within your terms of service that says that the customer can cancel at any time with a 30 day notice due to poor service, which is fact. But you also have some type of clause in there that says that you should be allowed a time to cure that complaint in order to keep the contract. But nonetheless, I thought that was a good point. But it is somebody I heard say that, that they do three-year contracts. And then and both of them multi-millions in their company, they were debating back and forth on that. They weren't really debating, but they had those different points. And uh, so I just wanted to throw that out there. But, yeah, standard is a year, though. And then um, 
I put an automatic renew clause in there as well. As a matter of fact, if you look and calculate it clean, we got proposal generators on that very last page of the proposal in the terms of service, because like, I give you a standard template, but you can add or remove what's already there. And in there, you'll see how it says it'll automatically renew every single year. You know what I mean? So forth, right? Unless they give you a 30 day notice before that first year, that one year is up. Thank you, Anthony Smith, checking in. Uh, I started the whole conspiracy thing. Sorry, <laughs> you good? I don't know because I, I definitely will get off on a tangent to talk about that. I listen to that probably like late night when I'm in the bed, and I mean, <laughs> and I, I put my headphones in and I just start going down that rabbit hole. I don't know if I do it for entertainment at this point, and at the same time, I kind of do it just to make sure I'm ahead of the game, shit. Because if some go down, I want to make sure I can protect my family, right? All right, what else we got? Uh, what about getting paid up front? That's another thing. What the very guy I was just talking about. One of these long-time experience guys said that he's been doing that since day one. He he gets paid up front from the – and this is commercial, too. I heard of people doing the commercial, but I was surprised when I – excuse me. I heard people doing the residential. But I was surprised when I started hearing about people doing it in commercial, too. So you definitely can do that. You can tell them, hey, payment is doing the first and up front, and you don't begin services until you do that. Again, it's your company, so you can make your terms however you want to do it. Now, is that the standard? No, that's not the standard, but you can do that. And request it. And if you ever come across a customer that say they just can't do that, which is usually probably be a bigger company, then okay, just for them you can make the exception. But for everybody else, you can be like, no, payment is due on the first, and that's it. You know what I mean? And and that can be your turn. What else we got? <clears throat> Shout out Colorado checking in. I need more people out west. Definitely need more people out west. In particular, I'm talking about the lead generation service. We get ton of atlanta <laughs> we got a ton of atlanta people ton of new york people ton of uh florida people virginia people uh some in carolina as well all up and down the east coast so i definitely need more people out west all right what else we got <clears throat> it's a hundred dollar day late fee too much to charge for late payments to me it is i would do um maybe 10 percent, something like that i wouldn't go that far uh and also i tell you what i used to do I didn't even do late fees. Instead, what I did was, if you don't pay, they ain't coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we give you a little bit, a couple of days in time, but if you stop paying, we just ain't going to show up. And then when you realize I got them trash overflowing, I bet you figure out how to pay me the hand. Shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for the knowledge. I always look forward to the gym. Thank you. What else we got? Miss Margaret says, what about uh, upfront post construction? Definitely. And one thing in particular I, I recommend for post construction, this is usually... From my experience, just get a deposit up front for post construction because I know that uh, a lot of times you're dealing with the general contractors and sometimes they on hold with getting the payment as well. So it's like they wait for payment, so they wait for you. But if you ask for a deposit, maybe 50% up front, that, that is a standard. So you definitely can do that. But you got to definitely get something because with post construction, they will run off with your bag. <laughs> I mean, anytime, any of them can run off with your bag, right? Any of them cannot pay you, but. I've heard it more times than often with post construction. So definitely be upfront about what, first of all, upfront about what the hell they want you to do because you can go back and forth five times trying to go back and clean out what they want. So make sure you clear about the scope of work, number one. And then number two, uh, be upfront about when you get paid. All right. Boss Talk with AT. Shout out to Boss Talk with AT. That's like a YouTube channel. If you got a YouTube channel, definitely follow his channel. I'm telling y'all, get paid to be you. Dot com. He's doing it. If, if he got if that like a YouTube channel title to me. So if he got one, check him out. Let's see what he's talking about. All right. That's a good one. No pay, no show. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Deshaw O'Kelly checking in. CBN member. He got two interviews with me. His last one was, was, was gold, too. Make sure y'all check that out. AJ, I'm thinking about starting my own lead generation. I need to talk to you. Get paid to be you, bro. It's in there. Go to getpaidtobeyou.com. You can have it. All right. I'm telling you, because I in there, I'm going to show you how to do your own. But I think, too, a lot of people are going to find it best just to go ahead and white label mine anyway, because I already got the train callers and everything. But either way, however you want to do it, get paid to be you, though. All, all of us can eat. Everybody can eat. I got burned on post construction by getting hired by a company that landed the contract. There you go. There you go. And then it's like when you so small and especially if the job is small, it's like. They know you ain't probably ain't gonna sue them. You ain't gonna do the things that's necessary to get the money, and so they just take advantage of you for being a small guy, and then you ain't being persistent enough because you already feel like a, uh, 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 what they call it, imposter syndrome. Anyway, you feel like you don't belong, or they bigger than you. But now, put definitely push for your money, dog. Put definitely push for it. But yeah, it happens, man. It definitely happens. That's exactly what I was talking about. 
But that's what I got for y'all, man. I ain't going to talk y'all head off. I'm about to get home, play a little game with my son a little bit. I know he's going to want to play the game with me. Eat dinner, chill with my daughter, chill with my wife. And then I'm going to probably stay up all night tonight and play 2K to the morning. And then tomorrow, I'm taking it easy because I paid my workers earlier today, so I ain't got to pay them tomorrow. And I got a video already ready for y'all tomorrow. I'm chilling tomorrow. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing tomorrow, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Talk to y'all later. $37,000 contract. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. Nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah, you had to take that to court. Definitely got to take that to court. Ain't no way. Hell no. Nah. And definitely, too, that's what I was talking about, Miss. What was that? Margaret, I believe it was. Definitely get a deposit at least because at least the deposit will cover your payroll. You know what I mean? Because the last thing you want is you can't even pay your workers after they done did the daggone job. And then you, all you got to say to them is they ain't even pay me because they don't give a damn. All they see is, oh, you a trap, you a horrible business. You know what I mean? Is it hard to get contracts for cold calling? Absolutely, positively not. I run a lead generation service that gets hundreds of appointments every single month, specifically all cold calling. So definitely not. What system you got? I got PS5 and I'm playing 20, 2K22 on there and I can't wait. <laughs> right. I'm out of here. I just switched uh, PlayStation this year too. I was on Xbox the past two years. But all right, y'all, I'm out of here. I'm going. Thank y'all. Oh, getpaidtobeyou.com, cleanbiznetwork.com. Thank y'all.